Oh, hello! Yet again, internet. Uh, third day. Pretty nice, pretty nice. You know, three days in a row. Not super impressive. But, um... Hopefully it's gonna become more impressive later. Uh, anyway, I've gotten spoiled a little bit. On the daily. But only the character, because I had to test my controller. Uh, today we're playing Lilith, actually. And I'm very excited, because Lilith is a character I... I'm either really bad at, or bad at playing as, or I do really well. It highly depends on the run. Basically, it depends on how lucky I get. Uh, anyway, let's just hop into it. And let's see how it goes. We are going to Mega Satan. That is... Uh... Well, that's not what I wanted to see today. I gotta be honest with you on that. Mainly because... It's uh, almost dinner time. And I was hoping I could just, you know... I could just get this out of the way today. Before dinner. I've been waiting for a long time, and it just sort of hasn't happened yet. I was thinking, uh, you know, I'm sure it'll only go to, like, mom or something like that. Nope, Mega Satan time. So, I don't know. It's something dumb about dailies, or challenges in general. Whenever something goes to Mega Satan, you're never really given a choice for which path you take. Like if you go up or up to the chest or down to the dark room, you don't like you still can fight Mega Satan, but you don't ever really get a choice. Like you have to pick the dark room, I'm pretty sure. And uh, that, that kind of sucks, because the chest is obviously superior. So for those that don't know, Lilith's uh, whole dick or mechanic is she can't fire, but she has a familiar that fires her tears for her. And she starts, oh that sucks, she starts with, I don't know what it's called, Box of Friends? That doubles every familiar you have. Um, so, I mean, not... It doesn't always double. It usually doubles. So, if you have... I don't know. If you use the item again in the same room, you don't get two. And I am going to have to sacrifice a heart. For this. I was hoping I wouldn't have to, but it's fine. So, you're not gonna get two then. You're only gonna get one extra, but it's still a very, very good item. Which makes Lilith very, dare I say, different. And I'm also very glad that there was health in there. I needed it. Oh my god. Imagine taking damage on Larry Jr. That's awful. Of course, if I do die, I can just claim it was so I would be ready for when dinner is done. But, ah, you guys are probably smarter than so. You would know that's just bullshit. I don't know how I feel about this. Um, like, every, every daily is the same, right? So there was no way I would get bombs to use on the rocks on the first floor. Hope, oh, I hate this room. I hope they're the same, otherwise... Well, that sucks. So, uh, yeah. Anyway. I've noticed... Oh. 
more familiars. Not a fantastic familiar, but it is gonna double its damage, I guess. Um, I don't know. What I wanted to say was... That's a luck upgrade, so I will go back for that. Even just, like, from the first day of, of recording again, and yesterday, I already feel way more confident, and I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, because I don't know if I have much to be confident about yet. I have to wait and see. Getting a lot of damage. Which is good. Um, I'm okay with... Ooh. I'm okay with not getting very many... How do I say this? I'm okay with not getting very many... Uh, tears upgrades. As long as I do get a lot of damage. But of course I would also like... Uh, tears upgrades. Because who wouldn't, honestly? Aside from that, what am I really hoping for? I'm just hoping we make it to Mega Satan, honestly. If uh, time allows it, I will... Don't... Shit. If time allows it, I will probably... I will probably do hush. I shouldn't, because that's gonna add a lot of time. But I will. Because we're not playing as the Lost, and I have no excuse today as to why I wouldn't. Aside from, you know, the dinner thing. But I can't use that all the time, can I? It. As I said, I'm either really good as Lilith, or I'm really bad as Lilith. Looking like a really bad one. Because I don't really have a ton of health. Speaking of health, though. We did get some, so that's fine. I'm gonna use this, even though it's just normal enemies. Cause you know, why not? Why only use it for bosses? That's usually what I tend to do. And now I have a lot of health, so I'm not gonna die anytime soon. Thank god for that. It would be a boring episode if it was only 8 minutes long, wouldn't it? The answer you're looking for here is yes. Yes, that would be very boring. Anyway, if you've gotten this far in the video... Actually, I don't know why... Ah, oh, man. You know, I'm trying... I was about to say, like... If you've gotten this far... Then you should come check out my stream tomorrow. Because I'll be streaming blah blah blah. But, like... By the time this goes up, my stream will have already started. Also, Compound Fracture is insanely good. Holy shit. Um, because I usually stream early in the day, or late at night, if you're from the Americans. If you're not from the Americans, if you're from Europe, then it's very early, like I said. I don't know what I think about this run so far. I mean, again, you have a lot of damage, but well, not a lot of damage, but we have better than average damage. That's more than a lot of runs can say.
Aside from that, um, I don't know. I don't really have much to say today. I just kind of felt like, well, obviously I felt like recording, otherwise I wouldn't be here. You do, you do kind of have to. Also, I hate that fiery bombs are contact bombs on every, like, every fiery bomb is contact bombs, except when you get them, and also that's bullshit. Why can he spawn on top of you? I will never understand. We did get a tier 8 upgrade. And, uh, well, I mean, it's, it's an all stats. I don't know why I'm saying it. As if it's not. And I could go to the curse room, but I'm not gonna waste any more time. Why would I waste any more time than I already have? That wasn't even about this run, that was just about in life in general. Why would I waste any more time? I'm wasting time that I don't have. Kind of sad. But I guess every time or every day where you're not doing something productive, I guess that is kind of a waste. And I hate that I've started seeing it that way because that makes me feel like I'm becoming boring. Like back, back in the day, uh, one of my friends, before we started like middle school, I think. I think it's middle school. Basically eighth grade. Before we started eighth grade, one of my friends was like, all right, well, we gotta stop acting so childish because we're almost in middle school now. And, uh, you know, we just kind of laughed at him and was like, ah, yeah, right. Let's, let's say I became a dad. Like, this is still what I said to him. I said, let's, let's say I became a dad one day. I would much rather be a fun dad than be, like, one of those super boring ones that only have kids to boost their ego somehow. Forcing the kid to do extremely well in school and never letting them have any fun. Much rather be a fun dad. And uh, as we came to middle school, whoopsie doopsie, turns out we didn't really become more mature because just not who we were. Still not who we are. Why would we be someone we're not? What, just... Just because? Just because we're older now, we have to act like... Boarding people? Nah. Nah, fam. That's not how life should be. And if you ever feel pressured, take this as a PSA now. If you ever feel pressured, like, Oh man, I need to act super responsible all the time. I'm almost 16. <laughs> don't worry about it. Just don't be a dickhead and you'll do perfectly fine in life. Alright? There's a lot of people that think you have to be a dickhead to get far in life. You really, really don't. You don't. Just... We're getting parasite... Parasitoid. Parasitoid. For the second day in a row now. Come on, Edmund, come on. It's gonna be really good. Yeah, don't, just, don't worry about it. Take life as it comes. Obviously, you should, you should be more worried about your future than I've been. Um, because I always just sort of thought, ah, uh, you know, li life's gonna work out for me. I'm not even worried, bro. And for that matter, I'm still not really worried, but, you know, not finding a job. I, I don't even know if not finding a job has been because of COVID or if it's because I just don't meet the requirements because 
for some reason, employers think it would be a great fucking idea to never contact you back. And I hate that. Like, oh, we got a little brimstone. Like, but why, why exactly do you think I'm contacting you about the job? Do you think it's because I'm not interested? Do you think it's because I hope you'll ignore it? No, it's because I want to know if I can get it or not. Also, we just lost that. Sucks. If I can't get it, great. Tell me instead. Just don't leave me in the fucking dark, you absolute buffoon. I don't know. It, I guess it could be said that, you know, employers, they have to go through thousands of fucking, what's it called, resumes. They have to go through so many that if they were to answer back to everyone, it would take more time that they could spend being productive. But the thing is, when I send my application for the job, I'm sitting there thinking, oh boy, I sure wonder if I'm gonna get the job, and then, like after a week has gone by, I'm still hopeful. But by the end of that week, the employers may have already decided, but not told me. So now I'm just kind of sitting there with the hope that will never come true because they, they decided to be dickheads. Like I had this one job that I uh, that I really wanted. It was to work at a pizza place. I mean, I love pizza. Who doesn't love pizza? I'm not trying to sound like a super basic person, but I, I mean, come on, everyone loves pizza. You don't love pizza, you just haven't had your type of pizza. So yeah, I wanted to work at this uh, pizza place. Never got a response. But the ad was still up for a really, really long time. So when the ad was taken down and I had still not gotten an email or anything regarding the fucking thing. Kind of like, alright, well, you know what? Maybe I didn't get accepted. And that's okay. And how do we have 0% chance for a devil deal? That's new. I've never seen that. Yeah, like, I... Obviously... I fucking... <laughs> Obviously, I showed interest in the job because I was interested in the job. I didn't show it out of... Or I didn't... Like... I, I didn't pretend like I was interested. I, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people do because they need money. But for God's sakes, man. I, I have a degree in cooking. And yet, so, I mean, it's obvious that I'm not just interested in the job, like, purely for money. I clearly have a passion for making food. Otherwise, I wouldn't have stuck with the fucking education, right? I don't know. I don't know, man. It's whatever. I'll find a job eventually. I hope. Hopefully it's in the food industry. If it's not in the food industry, then... Whatever. <laughs> I will... I don't know. At this point, I'll settle for anything. Well, not anything. I want to at least feel like I will be happy where I work. But it's kind of impossible to know if you're gonna be happy working somewhere. If you haven't gotten to work there yet, kind of a prerequisite. We don't, we are not getting super many 
fantastic items in the later item rooms. However, I don't think we need any other items. I think this is a perfectly winnable run as is. And to prove that, I'm not going to be picking up any more items. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But I do honestly believe that this is winnable right now. So the fact that we're only going to get stronger, pretty exciting. Imagine finding fucking... Oh! No, okay. So you know why we had a 0% chance of a Devil Deal last floor? Yeah, it was because the room layout wouldn't have allowed it. That sucks, but it's fine. I can't believe they still haven't, like, figured out a way to work around that. Seems like a very easy thing to fix. But maybe it's not something they are keen on fixing, so... Whatever, they do what they feel like doing. Not like I'm the creator of this game. But, oh god, do I kinda wish I was. Uh, Shield's gonna make it very easy. Those two are not worth it, so we're gonna skip boss rush. And also because I'm getting flashbacks about the fucking... I, I still don't know his name. What's his name? Lazarus? I think it's Lazarus. Still getting flashbacks from the Lazarus daily. Which... Boy, that was a bad one. It, I mean, I could have won it, but I had to be... A fucking... Like, what, what did I do? I don't even remember what I did. I remember... Like, I remember picking up... Was it Jacob's Ladder? I remember picking up Jacob's Ladder. I think, inside of the boss rush room. And then I thought I could teleport out. Using the Lazarus with extra life. Ah, uh, yeah, no, that, that didn't happen. I will never understand why some extra lives put you outside of the pre- like, to the previous room. And some just... spawn you right back in the same room. Seems kinda inconsistent, don't you think? I don't know, man. I, I guess, for as long as I've been playing this game, I should know the difference between the HP, or the extra life, respawns. But clearly, I fucking don't. I know 1-up spawns you outside into the previous room, and gives you full red health? I think. So nothing super good. Not for me, anyway. Because I... Well, I try to get rid of my red health. Very obviously a angel deal type of thing. Or angel room type of run. Because of our key. So... This is mainly a red heart run. And I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but that's fine. I kind of want to play this. Wait. Wait, oh. Wait, hang on. what's happening now? Anyway, sorry. That didn't show up on the recording, I don't think. But for some reason, the fucking Steam bullshit showed up. Anyway. What was I saying? Oh right, no, we got the Polaroid, so we're actually going to the chest for once. That's a rare occurrence, I'll tell you that much for free.
I don't know if it matters whether or not you accept angel deals or devil deals. Probably doesn't, since it has to be the same seed for everyone. But, uh... We're going to the chest. Exciting stuff. Again, that doesn't really happen that often. At least not in the dailies that I've played throughout the years. And mom's heart. Alright, or it lives. Sorry. I wonder why they would change the name like that. Wait, why am I even dodging? I have... I have the fucking shield. Alright. We're gonna do hush. I didn't give you guys hush yesterday. So I'm giving you now. Take the book. Am gonna take this could be an easy win if I took the leaf. But this is already a very easy win as is. And we'll have a charge. Wow. Yeah, no, this is kinda gross. I think we'll do just fine, as a matter of fact. And again, this is a very simple fight, especially because we have fucking shield. I don't know what it's called. Like, shield of, uh... I don't know. But basically... Uh, anything that blocks projectiles obviously make fights infinitely more plausible, I guess, one way to put it. It is, of course, assuming that I am looking where the... or firing where the shots are coming from. And I just walked right into that, so that... That should prove how bad I really am at this game. Or as Northern Lion would say, dodge right into that. Silly egg, that doesn't make sense. Obviously, the enemies that he spawns don't get blocked by the shield, because that would be incredibly overpowered. Like, we're talking disgustingly overpowered. Not that I would mat- or not that I would really be upset by something being really overpowered. But it would make the game kind of boring. And how did the shield not block that? I will never understand. We've been hit three times and he's halfway done. And his phases don't really get that much harder than the initial one. He gains a few new attacks. You know, towards the end, he likes to go underground for fucking hours at a time. Sometimes. <laughs> That's alright. Harshi's just a little shy. He can come out when he feels like it. That sounds like I'm talking about Hush being a closeted gay or something, but that's not what I meant. This is probably the dumbest attack, because he has shoots projectiles and homing beams. If you can get past that, then it should be fine. Fun fact about my first encounter with Hush, I actually found him on my own, which terrified the fuck out of me, because it was just after Afterbirth Plus had, or Afterbirth had been released, I don't know when he initially showed up, it was just after it had been released, so 
So I couldn't even look him up anywhere. I was just like, what the fuck is this blue hell? And how do I deal with it? Obviously, I don't really like spoilers, but man. That, uh, that scared the shit out of me back then. Then, of course, like, when Hush initially came out, everyone was like, Man, this is, this is the hardest boss in the game. Like, wow. Because, you know, he was new. And he also shot those tears that scroll across the screen. You know. It's all about getting used to it, I guess. Get used to anything, it's easy. I guess there's still a lot of people that think the uh, Continuum tiers of Hush are really difficult to deal with. They really aren't. You just need to find, like, the one spot to, like, one spot to stand. And you can just stay there until the attack is done and keep firing. Like, it's... It really doesn't do much. If it even does anything, for that matter. I did get hit a couple of times. That's because I was focusing more on the... On shooting my tears than I was on his. Because, uh, in case you haven't noticed, I kinda have a fuck ton of health right now. Which means I had even more health when I started fighting Hush. How long is it? 28 minutes. Wow. 28, huh? I... I think I'm not going to use the box of friends here, just so that I have it for Mega Satan. And the shield did not block the tears from those guys, so that's fine. I guess it did come at a very, very slight angle. Of course, I can't expect it to do too much. I mean, you know, the main purpose is for it to block shots, but, uh... Well, I, I can't really expect it to block shots, can I? That's just unfair. Like... <laughs> like, asking... Asking a kid to do his best, then get upset when he does his best, because it's not good enough. I don't know why that's what I thought about, but it is. Got more fire rate and more damage, wow. Mega Satan is also pretty simple. Like, let's not beat around the bush. He is pathetic. Well, not all the time. Obviously, kind of depends on your items. But I find that more often than not, I can deal with them with the relative ease. Of course, that may also be because I know this game pretty well by now. But I like to imagine that it's just because he's bad. So, I mean... A 30 hour... A 30 hour... Wow. That's not gonna get me on the leaderboards. A 30 minute Mega Satan run, huh? Not too shabby at all. Honestly, Mega Satan... Mega Satan's difficulty pales in comparison to... All of the enemies that he spawns. Or all the mini-bosses that he spawns, I guess. That's kind of not what you want when you're spawning enemies. Oh boy, I didn't hear him. I didn't hear him charge up. I have my volume very low on my headset, 
so I can hear myself talk. Because if not, I'm probably going to get lost in whatever I was saying. This attack is kind of strange. But you get used to that as well. And he is dead. Yep. Sub 32 minutes. Should be good for something. Uh, 160. First, score-wise, 270th. Not incredible, but not horrible. I guess I could have done more rooms you know, on the chest to get a higher score, but I'm more interested in time anyway, so whatever. Uh, before I leave today... I want to check the leaderboards for yesterday. That, uh, wait, can I check? Yeah, I can. Time-wise, 82nd. So even though I ended on 26 yesterday, I did get moved down a few spots. But I'm still very happy with that placement. Top 100. Anyway, aside from that, thank you for watching today. Very fun run. Uh, a normal one, but a fun run. Uh, go check out my Twitch. Join the Discord. Check out my Twitter. I'm very close to affiliate to on Twitch again, as I said. And hopefully, I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.